Hello everyone and welcome to TYT Sports. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. J.R. Jackson is here, so uh, J.R., let's get to it. Derrick Rose is out for the year. Uh -huh. They said right now at least the uh, recovery time is three to six months, though a clip I did over the weekend when it occurred, and he was just a non-contact injury once again, similarly to his mm -hmm. torn ACL, though this is to the other knee. I'd like to, a lot of times when they give these, these details of how it works, I'd like to yes. see, because they say remove or repair it. I, I want to see, it sounds like you shouldn't remove anything that's already, like removing what? I mean, they didn't give that. The meniscus. Least, right, but that's what's already in your knee. Sounds right, like you shouldn't you remove could, things from your I knee. I understand. You know who played their entire career without a meniscus? Magic Johnson. Oh, yeah, really? Yes. Yeah. So it is possible. But either way, Derrick Rose is out for three to six months. An absolute blow to the Chicago Bulls. A lot of people are very sad that he is out. I am, of course, sad because I am from Chicago. But how much does this, I know it impacts the Bulls, but in what ways does it exactly impact the Bulls? Well, there, well uh, first of all, a lot, a lot of the things that is, that is being said is that yes. now they no longer have these, you know, these championship hopes. Zero percent chance they're going to win it. I get that there was a percentage chance before, but they weren't going to. There was a small year, percentage, right? but there, there right. was certainly I mean, a chance. Yeah, and it helps. Yeah. And then so um, it definitely stops them in that aspect, especially since a part of their resurgence after they lost them last year was sure. Nate Robinson, who obviously is in Denver. No, Nate Robinson's not there. Marco <laughs> Bellinelli is not there as well. Yeah. Right, so um, that's more where it hurts. It doesn't, they don't really, I don't know who else was there. I haven't seen enough of the Bulls this season. I saw like parts of a couple of games when I was watching a full mm -hmm. slate of games one night. Um, but they don't really seem to have a backup at all. I mean, not reputable. Marcus so they can feel like and he's, you know, he's bad. He's, 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 a, he's a young kid. He's right. a young kid. He's yeah. going to develop. He needs to go to the D-League. Mike Wilbon had this quote, by the way, if we could pull it up. His second injury makes you reconsider everything, such as maybe D-Rose simply can't play the game, mm. can't play the game the way he wants to play it. Maybe he can't explode and cut with the ferocity he has until now. Ferocity. Ferocity? Ferocity? Ferociousness. Ferociousness, yeah. Fero ferocity. I, said, he said for, I was going to say, if he said ferocity, he's wrong. With the ferocity. Yeah, I guess it's the word. He's he has a, until now. Maybe it, the isn't, maybe it isn't advisable he come back firing fastballs, but instead rely for the first time on changing speeds and sleight of hand. Well, I don't know. I guess who I, who I would blame, not that it's their fault, because, of course, you still have hope in your franchise player. Mm. Um, but you, the, again, to the rest of my point, yeah. it seems like they kind of cleared, ho cleared house on the, any backups. I mean, the guys well, come back from Nate Robinson. all year. They couldn't afford Nate Robinson, and they figured, well, T came from John Calipari, mm -hmm. and you know what? Derrick Rose came from John yep. Calipari, so maybe they'll, they'll have a little something there. Well, any well, there isn't. Yeah, and well, now they, here's someone else needs to be in there, too, because I don't think they have that much around. They still have John, uh, not John, um, um, Kirk, uh, Heiner. Kirk Heiner. Um, so mm -hmm. there's something. Anyway, uh, of course, then I, I don't see a championship in the future either. But I don't know what really, and I think was the main sentiment of the whole thing. I think the main point of this was, damn, like no one is like, oh, this asshole, yeah, another injury. You know, sometimes people don't really mind when someone gets injured. Mm -hmm. I don't know any, I haven't read or at least seen anyone that, that was on that. Everyone is upset oh, and geez. really sad about this. You, you did not see the comments on the video I oh, did over the weekend. About, yeah, if we're talking oh, about God, randoms, they were if we're talking okay, about randoms not, on YouTube, okay. yeah, but people established or even other players, Understood. you know, uh, where it's it's terrible for everyone, even though it gives other teams a chance and stuff. But Will he come back? You think he could be the player he once was? I think so. You do? I mean, it looked like he was going to be all right again this year. His numbers did. were down, of course, but he's still getting back into it. Now it might take him even even longer in his next return. Uh, I guess it all depends. I mean, I think the one he already came back from was worse than this one. The ACL is pretty damn serious, sure, you know? Sure, sure. Um, so I, I think just from that, just from com coming back from that, uh, I think he'll be all right. He's not going to, and maybe Will Bond's uh, uh, advice is right. you got to change what you do, but that's not who he is. Exactly. That's the point that I was going to make next. He, that's not the player he is. That's not the way he plays. Mm -hmm. He's not going to be the guy that's going to pull up for you know, 20 foot jumpers every single game and become a perimeter player. And if he does, what's the use of having him anyway? The, the, the there's no point. Yeah, the there's po no the, point. The, the usefulness of him is that he's not that kind of player. You can get anyone else to do that. He goes in, he takes contact, he gets the mm -hmm. end once, and it doesn't look like he could do that anymore, anymore unfortunately. Yeah. 50 games in three years, by the way. That's the amount that Derek Rose is.